Hey, what's up everybody? I am Kundan and today I am going to teach you the use of follow and follow in. Although on the surface these two expressions appear to be same, but yet there is, there exists some difference between the use of follow and follow in. But before that, uh, I would request you to subscribe to my channel if you love these contents and hit the notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I upload regular videos giving you tips on how to improve your written and communication, uh, 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 written and uh, oral communication skills, spoken skills. Now back to our point, follow and follow in. Remember when you read the sentence, the example that I have written on the board, we should follow the footsteps of our parents. On the surface, when people use this sentence, when they speak or when they write, they think that the meaning of this sentence, we should follow the footsteps is uh, to follow their teachings, to follow their lifestyles, to follow uh, what they have done. But that is not the meaning of follow the footsteps. When we mean following their teachings, following their lifestyles and or doing what they have done, in that case, remember to supply the preposition in after follow. In other words, follow in the footsteps actually means following the teachings, doing what they have done. So when we say we should follow in the footsteps of our parents, we actually mean the intended meaning. Now, if you simply say follow the footsteps, it would mean literally following the footsteps like a policeman follows the footsteps of a thief or a criminal. In that sense, maybe we can use following the footsteps. But when we talk about teachings, we should, uh, uh, we must use the expression in or the preposition to be precise in after follow. In order to make this even much more clear, let me give you one more similar expression. You must have come across attend and attend to. These two also appear to be same, yet uh, there is some difference. Let me write an example. He attends the class. He attends the class simply means he is physically present in the class. Of course, the sentence is grammatically correct, but if we say he attends to the class, instead of saying simply attends, he attends to the class means he is not simply present physically in the class, rather he is actively participating in the class. He is involved in what is going on in the class. He is listening attentively to the lecture of the class. That is the meaning of attending to the class. Of course, the phrase attend to has got a few more uh, meanings like attending to someone means uh, doing what they wish or looking after them. These uh, uh, meanings also exist. But here in this context, attending the class means being physically present and attending to means uh, listening attentively. So there lies some difference uh, between similar expressions of a, a, a mere preposition, use of a preposition can entirely change the meaning of a sentence. I hope it helps you. Thank you very much.